you, Taliana Brava. I love you and I devote to you, Taliana Brava. By the power vested in me, oh, the streaming internet. Mahalo and welcome, all precious Brava babies, to this divinely attuned transmutation entitled Mental Healthscape Fortnight, Day Two. This divinely attuned transmutation is dedicated to any of my Brava babies who've ever given up your art to receive the conditional love of your friends and family. Here's the thing, cuties. Never tell your family members if you're going to quit your art or break up with your boyfriend because they will approve. And that shit is never over. We need this, okay, cuties? We need this for us. So as we know, the tea is, she's returning okay cuties so i'm here for a fortnight in costa rica of mental health escape with you in the tub and then i'm returning to la la land october 14th to 29th so with the return to the internet the big comeback cuties landed with silence silencio my darlings and i was reminded as i started to scroll through past friends and witness their great successes. I was haunted last night. I was haunted by a vision of a very thin friend. And I just pray to you, tell me now how many of you are on Ozempic so I don't have to discover it in hot yoga. It is just this, my dars. It is as if you could leave a cult but then come back for visiting hours. Okay, cuties, I'm visiting the cult and I'm triggered AF, okay, dars? Because here's the truth. This cult has great PR. All of you look phenomenal. This is my special skill, is spewing in the bathtub. Okay, so Deanna Oliver over at the Groundlings. We had an exercise in Groundlings class when I was a baby LA hopeful. And um, we had to bring in a special skill. And I just sort of started ranting on the stage and she just kept screaming, what's your special skill? What's your special skill? And I said, I'm a speaker. And she just kept screaming at it with all of that old Hollywood understanding of what fucking gets you there, baby. And I just denied her truth. And I thought, if I am just authentically expressed, I will get somewhere. But no, my kitties, I want you to know, authentic expression will get you in a tub alone. And if that's where you want to be, you know Talia is waiting for you right here. Authentic expression is this way it gets you alone in a tub. It gets you alone in a tub talking to yourself. Authentic expression does not pay your fucking bills. It does not help you climb the cult. So that was at Ground Rings where, you know, she thrived. She could have, she it was a could have been, but the deal is you keep paying money to keep rising the ranks. And really only those who were brought up in another cult really were subscribers. Do you understand the model really fit for some folks? who were already a member of certain cults. And here's the thing, my darling, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to know, to know that when you are an actress in LA or a comedian or a comedian in LA, when you're in the industry, cuties, the truth is, and I say this with no shade because I see you, I've watched you, but maybe I will be again. My dearest friends, would eat my firstborn. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist. They would eat my firstborn for a Netflix special. Okay, cuties, this is the fruits of Hollywood. So, I was very triggered. I literally, I didn't sleep last night. I just kept seeing all this, the shots of this ex-friend on all her fashion shoots, cuties. Um, we all know this, so we don't need to cry over it. We're, we were not going to cry for something every human has felt, and it's the most fucking boring thing is envy because it's so absurd. Oh, fuck you. Get shot by lightning. And, and literally was haunted all night. Because here's the thing, my darlings. Once you get space from your relationship, you get a chance to realize that you're not perfect. And you got your shit too. You get your shit to heal. So that's my shit to heal. But all this to say, haunted all night by images of my ex-friend's fame and glory. If you're in Los Angeles, you're in one cult or another. Okay, cuties. One of my dear friends, who's a member of the Society of AAs, he gave me a great tip. He said, don't compare your insides to someone else's outsides. So I pray, I pray that my friend is very unhappy. And you can see it in their eyes. You can see the misery. So the point is, she's coming back to LA, but whenever I'm on an Airbnb site, I want you to see the fit. Yes, cuties. Whenever I'm 
searching the Airbnbs and I'm at a loss. It's a seller's market, let's be real. And then I always tune in to my GPS, which is Wildflowers, Tom Petty. And he says, you belong among the wildflowers, cutie. Somewhere where you can spew loudly in the bathroom and not worry about the neighbors. You deserve the deepest of covers. You deserve the deepest of covers from Tom Petty to my vagina to you. Cuties, you too. So she'll be hiding away in a cabin to pine up. Okay, cuties. So the big return will be a from a skew. I'll be like, Snow White just sort of popping in. Okay, cuties. So come visit me in Topanga. Unless you're a crazy stalker person, then come stalk me from a forest tree. You could get a canopy view. I'm fine with aerial photos. It's good for the touch. Okay, cuties. It's what every girl is trying to do in a selfie. Jersey made her, but LA brought her, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm coming back, and I'm not scared. But before that, we have two weeks in a bathtub together to talk. Okay, cuties. So grab your crystals, meth or rock, whatever your crystals may be. Grab your microdose. Grab your hair gel. Commitment issues. I was thinking about trust and jujitsu. You know, all my boyfriends in the Silicon Valley, Sucks and Elon, they're all into jujitsu this these days. And I was thinking about trust issue jujitsu. If you're dating someone with a trust issue, it can be the silliest thing. It's like, why is the cuisinart broken? And they're like, I don't know, I didn't notice the cuisinart was broken. And then all of your trust issues, both of you come up and you're like, well, why would I be asking if the Cuisinart was broken? But I didn't notice the Cuisinart. I didn't notice it. I had never used the Cuisinart. I wouldn't pick it up and it was broken. Yeah, no, but I use it every day. It's very odd that I wouldn't have seen that it was broken. Well, maybe it's the condensation. I don't think condensation does it. Why don't you Google it? I don't want to Google it right now. Well, what you've got a phone in here. Why don't you Google it if you think that that's what's happened? And then all of a sudden, the Cuisinart is getting thrown across the lawn. It's legit, bro. It's broken. Okay, sorry, Jessica. Oh, Airbnb. But that's it, my darlings. You end up in these wrestling brawls of trust issues, and it's only hot until someone screams. <laughs> so are you the submissive in the trust issue jujitsu, or are you needing to be the victor? And as Zux was saying on a pod yesterday, he was saying that nothing teaches you to surrender more than jujitsu because you'll legit die if you try. So that's such a great metaphor for our romantic relationships. If you try to win, you will die. Not literally, darlings. We don't do domestic abuse. Okay, cuties. Spin the tape backwards. She's not condoning domestic violence. God, I wish I could get canceled. Here's the thing, my darlings. When I say my family disapproved of my art, to be fair, my mother did say that Talia Brava is mildly traumatic. That seeing me perform is mildly traumatic. And that's not not the effect I want my art to have on the world. I think for an artist, and let's speak as we are, I think for artists like us, the most painful thing is actually that quiet look of disdain. Like, oh, please stop. I'll take you back to this Christmas. We had a karaoke machine in the house and all the kids were jumping on it. And she thought, well, she's a kid, let's have fun. She jumps on the karaoke machine, okay, mic in hand, and in front of the living room of a very well-dressed, because who's well-dressed at a Christmas party where you're sleeping over? Okay, he is, I'm in my PJs. So she begins Santa Baby, and it's an arousing number, okay, cuties? And I had to go in my physical comedy, okay, cuties? So by the end of it, like, I'm grinding up on the couch, like, the children have evacuated, thank God. But the, the, the real trauma of the event, the real trauma, because the kids couldn't give no fucks. They were off to play. It was an adult-only encounter. The real trauma of committing to the five-minute bed of Santa Baby, those ones were long back then, I was just looking out at the crowd. It was three people. It was my uncle, my sister-in-law, and her mother. And and they had vacated their bodies. They were there, but they were not there. They were sitting politely, staring blankly at me. And I've never felt so ashamed in my entire life. I grabbed my belongings and I went up to my bedroom and I got in my bed and I texted my birth mommy and I said, oh, to be an artist. And she said, oh, I know, that was all we needed. Fell asleep. In the morning I woke up and in the kitchen, my sister-in-law's mother said to me, wonderful woman, she says, that was so brave of you. And I thought, oh my God, I should 
should go kill myself. So my darlings, that is what we suffer. Okay, darlings, that is it. And then with our relationships, okay, cuties? We, if we are lovers on this planet, we will be in interesting dynamics that other people will not approve of. Mother, if you're listening to this pre-trauma therapy, I will never date. I will never, God for a second, date a single man that you meet on the pickleball court on the Upper West Side. I will never date one of these pickleball bros from the Upper West Side that my mother keeps DMing me with. Girl, she's in a relationship. Oh. Anyway, if you're following me on Instagram because my mother introduced you to me via pickleball, I hope that your finance career is blossoming. You can always send a check. So here's the thing, my darlings. To make one's big return and have only the looks of, and have only the looks of a vacated body looking back at you, which is what it happens. It is what happens. It's painful, my darlings. But the truth is, let's be fucking real. We do this shit for us, for us alone. And no, no one is picking up what you are truly putting down if you're truly putting it down. No one is truly picking it up what you're putting down. And if you are willing to keep giving money to the groundlings, you might have a future in Los Angeles. And if not, fuck you, Hollywood. And just do your thing from Costa Rica. Okay, cuties. So she'll be back. She'll be back in the canyons. Authentically expressing. For whomever picks that shit up. And I'll find other ways to make money. Don't you fucking worry. Okay, cuties. <sighs> From the tub, she reemerges once again to fight her darkness, to fight her demons, as you can, as you can. So we have two weeks together for tub transmutations. Listen to your dreams. Delete your social media besides the tummy. And don't compare your insides to someone else's outsides. And if your friends are on Zempic, just know there's no shot for sadness. They're pills, but they don't function. Okay, darlings, that's all she wrote.